All right, I am very happy to be able to speak with the Assistant Chief Engineer of Propulsion Systems at General Motors, Doug Bell. Doug, thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah, thanks for coming to chat with us. So uh, I've just driven the Equinox EV. I drove both the front and all wheel drive system and these are kind of your babies. So I'm curious if you can tell me a little bit more about the front wheel drive system. I'm assuming that it's a single speed drive down gear from the motor to the, to the, to the wheels, right? right? We have a, a single speed drive unit that's used for both the front wheel drive and the e-all wheel drive configuration. The main difference is for e-all -wheel, e wheel drive, we add uh, a separate, a second drive unit to the rear axle. Let's take a step back. What are we looking at right here? What is this? I mean, it, this just looks like a big box of electronics and the actual motor and the drive down gear would be down here. Right, exactly right. So this is the e-all wheel drive drive unit. So everything from here down is the gearbox. So it has the gearbox, gears, bearings, structures, and the motor is housed within there. Everything on top is the power electronics. So inside of this is your inverter. This has got a couple other modules that can do some, like the 12 volt aux power and some of the charging ah, is okay. actually done inside of this. Okay. This drive unit here is the drive unit that's used for the front wheel drive. Exactly the same as the one we just looked at from here down, it's all gearbox. If you notice the power electronics are slightly smaller on this one. Okay. Uh, the one for e-all wheel drive actually has two inverters. There's a second inverter on here that does all of the switching needed for the rear drive unit. Okay, so this is an all wheel drive unit. That's a front wheel drive unit. Correct. Got it. Now. The other thing I know, it, tell them, get, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a permanent magnet motor in front, but an induction motor in the back. Correct. Why would you use different types of electric motors for the front and rear wheel drive? Right, so we have a motor family in all of our, our drive unit portfolio right now, and there are two different size permanent magnet motors, and the smallest motor we have is an induction motor. The induction motor we have provides us some advantages um, for the all wheel drive on, on the Equinox that made it the right fit for it. So. So what are those advantages? Is it, is it a packaging advantage? Is it a weight advantage? Is it, is it a cost advantage? Yeah, I mean, the, the big thing with this is it's, it's, a, it's ability to control spin loss when it's off. Oh, um, I see. So it, it does, an induction motor does a better job at that than a permanent magnet motor does. Okay. Um, the rest of the stuff obviously plays a factor in this as it does with all of our trade-off studies. It's gotta fit, it's gotta be cost effective. Um, but I think that's a big advantage of the induction motor on this. So what what is spin would spin spin off loss? You said. Yeah, meaning when you're not using that that motor that drive unit, you're not you don't have drag that's causing you to lose range. I see. What drove having a bigger motor in the front axle and a smaller motor in the rear axle for the Equinox? Yeah, well, I think the bigger way to look at this is we have a set of propulsion systems that we have produced with our family, our all-team family of driving us, and we can correctly size them to the vehicle application to, to make sure that the vehicle has the, the an appropriate performance for what it is required. I see, so I see. So a front-wheel drive and an E-wheel drive is the right fit for something like uh, like an Equinox, but then our portfolio grows all the way up to the Silverado, which you should be seeing tomorrow that uh, is, is going to have different driving units that execute a similar propulsion system. Got it, got it. What is the aspect of the drive unit that you would say you're most proud of? Um, you know, there's many parts of it that I'm proud of. The, the interchangeability we have in our portfolio throughout all of our drive units has been great. The commonality we have across uh, our whole platform and how we can, can learn together going through this is, is been, has been fantastic. The, the volumes we get out of Hammond, things like common motors, and be able to do stuff uh, you know, consistently across all the platform has been probably the most rewarding thing. I see that there's a kind of broken apart drive unit. Could you walk us through what we're looking at there? Yeah, so this is the, the rear drive unit. So this is the induction motor. Um, the induction motor has two sets of gears here to get to the, the output uh, torque and speed. Um, so you can see a, cu a cutaway of the, the stator here. Okay. Um, open differential, and it's just a nice small tight package that packages perfectly in the rear axle of, of the, so the, the all-wheel drive equinox. This is, this is the axle going across like this then, yeah? Yeah, there'll be half shafts from each wheel that come in and grab, okay, grab so, the output shaft of, so of the, the drive units. So this, this is what drives the half shafts. Correct. So we have the electric motor and then the gear, this is the drive down gear here then. Got two sets of gears, one here and one here that rotate an open diff that turn an output. Ah, shaft this is the there. diff, I see. Yep, yep, you can see it now and you can see the gears inside that, I see. Very interesting. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's not in the grand scheme of things that much bigger than just a straight rear differential. Right. But there's a drive unit in there. Right. Yeah. Compact. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. And then so this just mounts up on a rear subframe and part of it and then right. off she goes. 
Super yep. interesting. And then uh, the control is a high voltage cable connects um, from here up to the inverter that uh, lives on the front drive unit. Gotcha. Very cool. And what's this bit right here? Uh, this is the connection ring on the stator. So there's, it was cut away for visual purposes here. There's actually one wire that's still that's still connected in here, but okay. that's uh, that's how it connects the leads to the, the stator. Oh, I see. So that's that's literally what drives gives it electricity to do its job. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It looks different though with the cutaway for so you can see the, the rotor. Well, uh, Doug, thank you so much. This this is great to see a cutaway and get a sense of how you can basically just throw in a motor and transmission with a differential without all that much space and have a rear drive unit like that. That's super cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome.